What is up my veggies? My name is Veggie Tales Raymond and welcome back to yet again another movie review. Today we're going to be reviewing Despicable Me 3. Now, a little bit of a spoiler alert. I normally don't give away spoilers, but I feel like this movie, I can't talk about it without giving some spoilers away. So, so if you guys don't want any spoilers for this movie, Leave the video now, but it, those of you who want to stay and hear my thoughts, let's go ahead and get th through this. So, first things first, I want to say about this movie is that it is definitely not my favorite in the Despicable Me franchise. My favorite is still Despicable Me 2. That one was the best out of the, th out of the three, in my opinion. But there is one thing I really liked about this movie that the other two made me feel a little bit, I mean, this one made me feel a little more different. Well, well I don't get what I'm trying to say. I liked this movie a little more because of the extreme lack of minions. Now, when I say the extreme lack of minions, I don't mean like they weren't in the movie. They're obviously in the movie. It's a Despicable Me movie. You can't have a Despicable Me movie without the, without the minions. But, the thing is about this movie, that the minions aren't in it as much as they were in the first two movies. At least, to what I thought. It felt like they didn't, they weren't in there as much. And I actually liked that the minions were barely in the movie. Because it, they may have been in there the same amount of time as in the other ones. I don't know. It just felt like they weren't it, they weren't focused on as much as they were in the other movies. Then that's good. Just, see, when the first two Despicable, Despicable Me movies came out, I never had a problem with the minions. I thought they were funny and they were okay, decent characters. Even though they're pretty much all the same. <laughs> but then the movie Minions came out, which I might do a review on in the future. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give too much detail on that movie because I might just do a review on it in the future. The movie Minions, I did not like. That's the main reason why I liked that there wasn't a lot of the Minions in this movie. So let's get off the topic of that movie and get back to the movie I'm reviewing. Now I do like the stuff between Lucy and the girls between Lucy and Mar Margot, Edith, and Agnes the, how she is struggling with being a mom is such a good um, just such a good thing to add to the movie and for them just to uh, for them to actually focus on that for a bit for Lucy is struggling with being a mom and still is getting the hang of things. But I know what we all want to hear about is what do I think about Drew? If you don't know, if you haven't seen the trailers or haven't seen the movie yourself, Drew is Guru's twin brother. Now, the his twin brother was actually when I first saw the trailer for Despicable Me 3, I was like, really? He has a brother that nobody knew about and we're just bringing it up now? Or like, And the trailers made him seem like more of a comic relief character. And even in the movie he seemed like that, but there was heart to the character. He wasn't a bad character. See, when I first saw the first trailer for this movie I, I was excited to see it but the uh, the whole um, Drew character I thought he was going to be a horrible character he was going to be too funny and is just going to joke all the time and, and he was like that sometimes but there was actually heart to the character like he was a really good character and now let's talk about the villain. Balthazar Brat? Was that it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Balthazar Brat. So he was a child star from the 80s 
and he played an evil child in a TV show about him, and that would, that the show got canceled, and that's what made him become evil. Pretty much, the show was canceled, or nobody cared about him anymore. And that's how he made him become evil, and he wanted revenge and stuff like. He just like wanted revenge on Hollywood, and that's pretty much pretty much his motivation. And when the trailers, when the trailers were first released, were first released, the mo it made me think that Gru was going to um, that Gru was gonna be um. Crap, what's, what's the word I'm thinking of? Well, Gru was gonna go back to villain, being a villain for a short while. And in my opinion, the movie, he didn't even seem like he went back to being a villain, even for a little bit. Like, he did not seem like he went back to being a villain at all, in my opinion. Because he had his, in one scene, at one part where they're going to get the diamond back, to steal the diamond from ba Balthazar, Balthazar Brad, right? Isn't that how you say it? Um, they're going back to get that the diamond from him, the steal back from him. Drew thinks that they're going to get it. That they're going to get it and to go get the diamond and get rich off of it. But no, Balthazar. Not Balthazar. Gru is doing it to get his job back. Because at the beginning of the movie, he lets Balthazar get away. And he and Lucy both get fired from the AVL, the anti-villain league. And that was a little unexpected, even though I did see it in the trailer. But the way it happened, I thought it would happen a little further into the movie than it did. Because this is like still at the beginning of the movie when this happens. And I do feel like there was a lot more uh, focus on Agnes in this movie. Um, see, like the last one gave a little more focus to Margot. But this one gave a little more focus to Agnes. Now the possibility... Wait. Yeah. Is there a possibility of there being a fourth Despicable Me? Maybe they'll focus more scenes on... Um, Edith, because in all three of the movies so far, there hasn't been much character development for her, from what I can remember. It has been a while since I've watched the first and second movie, so it has been a while, but those two are two, my, two good movies. But the movie was pretty darn decent. I'm not going to, it wasn't amazing, it was a pretty decent animated movie. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't amazing. But I, I, I remember getting a, a couple laughs. I, I, I remember getting a, it, it got a couple laughs out of me. It, it was a pretty darn good movie. The jokes were good, and I, I, there, and I was surprised there wasn't very many fart jokes. <laughs> there was like one I, I can remember. That was like in the like the logo intro thing where where they're doing the uh but doing the when they're doing the, the illumination and they got the fart gun and then one of the main farts and that was like the only fart joke in the entire movie I think there was, there was like a few butt jokes. <laughs> like there normally are like there's the one where the minion wants to get a tattoo and he gets the he wants the tattoo on his butt <laughs> but besides the 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 that the, the butt jokes and everything the movie had a lot of heart to it you could really feel feel for Gru and Drew when they get mad at each other and the movie also ends in an odd spot that I did not expect, actually. Because the movie ended with Drew being evil still. And it looked like he took the minions? And, like, I, I, the, the ending was confusing. It does seem like... 
Drew was gonna stay a villain, but like, not like a villain villain, but like a villain to like just mess around with Gru, seems like. And the minions being a part of that was weird, and that entire last scene was weird. And one moment that really hit the feels and made me just like, have a little aww moment was when, um, Lucy, at the end of the movie, where Lucy is checking in on the girls, and Agnes tells her, Love you, Mom, or something like that. I don't really remember. I did, I did say warning for spoilers, so... Sorry if you guys got spoilers. So, let's go ahead and get my rating out of the way. I give this a... I guess a decent 4 out of 5 minions. Because it wasn't that bad of a uh, movie. It really wasn't. Pretty much my problem with this was pretty much the same problem I had with Minions. Was Minions. <laughs> See, sure, Minions are the iconic characters for the Despicable Me movies. They're pretty much Elimination's mascot. But I feel like if, like, for this... For this, uh... Despicable Me movie, if you took them out of the movie, it would work. You wouldn't need them. Now, the thing is, I don't hate the minions. They just are a little bit annoying, as all. Like, you see the minions everywhere. You see them on toys. You see them on cups. You see them on wallets. You see them on shirts. You see them on f Facebook posts. Like, memes and stuff that aren't even related to minions. Like, what's the deal with that? But, maybe I'll do a let's talk about it when I'm just talking about minions. So, we'll see. But, back to the movie. It was a pretty decent movie. and It was a good movie. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it. I, it was a good time. I actually enjoyed watching it. I, I, I'm glad I saw it. And That wasn't the only movie I saw today. I also went and saw Transformers The Last Night, which there'll be another review on that. I don't know how I'll record it tonight. I'll probably record it tomorrow. I don't know. You guys should already know if I recorded it tomorrow, t tonight or tomorrow. So, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please tap the like button down below. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. And link to my Twitter, Instagram, and DeviantArt will all be linked down in the description below. Just like always. And do not forget forget to hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I upload videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!